This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories and have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have Ife Olua Oshunke. Yes, that's me. <laughs> and Nimi Dekombi. Present, This is your marking attendance. Um, no, you don't join him, Is that his star. He wants to be known as the Yes, That's Me guy. Oh, wow. Mm, yes, mean, that's me. For every, problem, of everything you'll be no, known for. It's, it's good. Where have you been? I've been around. She's been chilling. You've not seen me in a while. No, I really? haven't. Really? Yeah. All right. They're looking totally different. Really? Really cute. What did you say? Cute? Yeah, she's looking very cute. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. When you guys are done, please let me know. You're such a cute thing. <laughs> you can go on. Oh, okay, cool. Right. So, so um... It's just weird that you're being creepy when we're about to talk about something like this. But Nigerian singer Brian Olawale went on a Twitter rant yesterday. He started by asking if rapist is a new word used for anyone doing something of note these days. He went on to say, quote, tell my accusers to come out and put a name and face to their claim in the presence of the law or shut their mouths, stating that Lagos State Government is in touch with his management and a full-scale investigation is currently being carried out. We call that Brahman was accused a few weeks ago of being an abuser and a rapist. Mm. Okay, so on this one, um, first of all, I'm a big fan of Brahmo. I wouldn't say I'm not, I wasn't disappointed by his tweets yesterday because mm -hmm. um, in as much as you say you're not a rapist and um, you, you're saying it's libellious uh, lib to call you a rapist and all that, but what you said or what you tweeted was very insensitive, especially, or let me say it was a timing. There was absolutely yeah. nothing wrong with what he tweeted on the norm. Um, there's something wrong with one of the tweets, which is the one. No, I'm talking about the. It main, seems that um, anyone every doing anyone doing well is called is yeah. Now called the rapist. There's That's, something wrong. No matter what time yeah, of the exactly. year or month or day he tweets that, that is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but it, it feels is, like rape accusations is against powerful people is no yeah. because yeah. it is mm. because, because it is but it is worse because of the timing. It's wrong, but it's something that we could have overlooked on Not the. Really. No, it's something that we could have seen and been like. <laughs> But we just ignore. Mm -mm. But people took it up a lot based on okay. rape being the subject matter in Nigeria presently. Do you understand? And then you tweeted something like that. So I don't know. It's going to but be. But you know, I, I, if we want to look at it from that angle, which of course I don't agree, but if we were going to look at it from that angle, I could also say that Brimo might have not been online for the past three days and he just came out How to can do he his say own. That? No, it's no, absolutely I don't, I don't possible. Think it's, I actually even just if spoke you with someone been online, people speak who has about not been it. online. And the person hasn't heard yes. about Uwa. Yes. No, the person hasn't yes. heard about it. The person did not check the, the news. I'm telling you. No radio. The person said he was just exhausted to and then to cut off every news. And they just, he stayed away for about five days. The person doesn't no have phone, no conversation. Friends. Except if Bermo did something like that. Anyways, I, I feel like what he said was very, very insensitive. And also, some of what he tweeted, I wouldn't say that he gave me like red flags because he was saying that his accuser should come forward and they should that they should go and um, put a face to put them. a face to that. The truth is, this is Nigeria. We are not talking. We are not. He's talking like something we're in a country where the justice system actually I heard works against. Are coming out though. You have okay. I said I heard receipts are coming out already. Hopefully they do because you are you are talking you are talking in a country where a lot of times rapists are not. Um, just we don't get justice for people mm. who are raped. So his statements that um, are, it just gives me like gives me negative vibes. I don't know how to. I don't know if anyone knows any of a song called "Title Prick No Get Shoulder." Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have been saying that yeah, the lyrics saying that the are lyrics of supporting. The song. Have you listened to it? Um, I'll probably Most have of the to lyrics listen. were yeah, I think I have so to listen because I think I listened to it once. I have I listened to, to it, but I, 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 it was of course when you are talking about prick no get shoulder. Of course, you feel somehow, but I didn't get the vibe that we are going to right now. I yeah, don't know. No, what a lot of people were about. saying. People, people said that, that because of that song, that song, that you should, that you should know, that know the kind of person that Brian Moore has been suspects yeah. all along. That at the moment they heard that song, they figured that. Okay, For me, I okay. think the the, the, the interview part of he Brian to exactly. Joey, is Joey was the one, one that gave me negative vibes. Well, yeah, he gave negative vibe, but I, I have to listen yeah, to because if you if you if you if you read that interview, I was reading it and I was like, this gives me. It sounds like harassment because he said that he would just go and meet somebody and he would say that he wants to fuck. 
sorry, he wants to have sex with them, that kind of stuff. So it was just <laughs> in his words, <laughs> in his words. So I, I, I had negative, I, I, I got a red flag from that. So when the accusation came up, and I'm like, oh, the accusation has been around for a very, very long time. Why not address it when it came out? Why is it now when everybody's mm. shouting justice uh, for you know, who are why? He's in touch, I'll be his team, he's in touch with the Lagos State government and investigations are like going on. So it's possible that a state prosecutor has or they have why opened him? an investigation. Of course, if there were a series of accusations, been, then they could can. Could that have been the reason why he tweeted that? Maybe they, they came to him. Of course. And that I could feel have been No, I'm not saying it's a possibility. It's a possibility, but is in it a possible time for where, them to go to him? In yes, a time when almost to. all the celebrities in Nigeria that we are even always saying don't even speak up. Mm -hmm. In a time when almost all these celebrities are speaking up against rape, mm -hmm. this is the angle that you choose to follow. Which is addressing your rape accusation that actually and saying it is through, false. He, he, he said he actually said the Lagos State government have contacted him, so he's he's just reacting. Let's to see. What I think a lot of people are calling that his shows should be his music and shows cancelled and all of that. Maybe that's why he's totally cancelled. No, I, I was just reading replies and all that. And he's still getting a lot of supporters. I followed him yesterday. Really? <laughs> really, I saw that. I, that I, first, I tweet, see, so you're no that first tweet is just now. I love it's his music. Him. I mean, I love the talents that is Brimo. Mm. But that tweet where he said, um, it seems it's everybody like, that is doing that is well. Of no really, I saw it. I think I quoted rapist. it. And because I said on Twitter that my man Shana is going to be this well, because people will not give me mm. attention. I just quoted it with quotes. It is well, and, yeah. and then I'll follow it. He also said but something about Donald Trump, Because Trump is life, Donald Trump is currently... That was what I could do for, for myself. Yeah, Donald Trump is currently under fire too in the US. People are accusing him of being a rapist, and then he tweets that he would forever support Trump or something. And he's also he linked to John Epstein. Um, yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. So there's a lot of things going on, and then his tweets currently have not really been against rape it's just like maybe it's neutral or he's just talking about false accusations so th i think that that's why people are outraged okay I'm uh, sure it's, it's, it's it's very really outrageous what he posted anyway very so i think you should do better especially for an artist who is very intelligent and takes a lot of time to write his music and their intel intellectual music really my eyes are intelligent <laughs> no no he writes very intellectual music if you know by most songs you know they're very mm. intellectual no, you, so know, you know, know that there are people that are business savvy and they are not relationship savvy. There are people that are intelligent in this area and then they are dumb in this area. You cannot be perfect all around. Yeah. So rich, you can write intelligent music and have troublesome things. Uh -huh. still give very intelligent into very is, intelligent He could be very arrogant anyway. He's, he's, he's becoming better and in yeah, having true. his thing. Yeah, but he's, he's not, the video is not a perfect But he's getting better, right? Yeah, he's getting better. I'm beginning to sound like Idris. Please, let's move on. <laughs> we'll get to Idris anyway, but let's talk about <laughs> Um, he has joined other celebrities in weighing in on the protests happening across the United States following the death of George Floyd. Um, while expressing sadness, he said, and I quote, well, I guess we know the cure for the coronavirus was racism. Everybody back outside. I had these thoughts. I yes, we all actually. Yes. Since well, the start the protests, of the protests. I was wondering, Kosi virus? I, I was, uh, me, I was even scared. Distancing. Me, I was just like, uh, I, I know. That the coronavirus cases you, you, are going you, to skyrocket mm, in the US. Yeah. When I was just seeing all the posts, I was like, have this been forgotten about coronavirus? Have you forgotten you know, about when, social when, distancing? When there is something as passionate as yeah, this that hits home, mm, like sure. you, you would not be thinking you don't of care a, about that. No, I don't you think don't you would. You don't think care about just your life yeah. in that case. You're thinking about the future of others, and I think that's what um, future people of your are. children. Yeah, yeah the future children. of your children, your your generation, generations to come yeah, after you. That's what you're thinking about. So, um, like I've always said, um. America is great today in some aspects, <laughs> right? Because of blood, sweat, and tears that they put into it. So you need to always remember that to get a change, there always has to be blood, sweat, and tears. And um, whether or not it is the cure of coronavirus is for a good cause. Whether or not we feel like, oh, but coronavirus is still out there. So if you know you love your life more than that of your generation, then stay at home. But if you know you want oh, to make protesting, it... Don't touch yeah. Your face. Yeah, don't, or don't touch anybody. Yes, it's almost impossible not to have it's, body It's contact. impossible. <laughs> it's almost impossible <laughs> been for droplets, right and said for that droplets not to drop on you because you are, or people are screaming yeah, you're and, shouting stuff, at and all of, boy, of that. So yeah. it's almost impossible to avoid a virus in that type of situation. So it may seem like a lot of people are ignoring the virus, but it doesn't mean it's not yeah. out there. Anymore. I think I think just to build up on what you said, the thing is the virus, by the grace of God, is going to live one day. But racism... <laughs> By the grace of God, we are hoping that it yes, will come out soon, so the virus will soon end. But racism is a bigger cancer, is a bigger virus that 
we don't yet know when it is going to end. Mm. This battle they've been or fighting. Or if it will ever end. Or if it will ever end. This battle they've been fighting did not start today. It did not start yesterday. It has started since. I don't think racism a long would ever time end. Ago. I think we can only learn to live and accommodate each other more. Accommodate. That's, we cannot think, accommodate racists. Hmm? We, no, I said that the you're not getting. I'm just, not saying accommodating racist. I'm saying that racism would never end. White people may never be able to stand black people for the rest of their lives, but at least they can learn to treat. But let's understand that beings. not all white people are racist. Yeah, yeah. of course, of that course, not all white people. Like, I think it's not even only white people all, that are racist. Yeah, 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 the so, racist yeah. white people may never love black people for the rest of their lives. Okay, so maybe we should put it this way: racism will not be totally eradicated, eradicated. but, but it can we, we should not be tolerate it, it very it should not be systemic. systemic yeah it should not be systemic it should not be That's systemic that i think there should be a a a, a and a, a repercussion for any racist, like if, you, if like any um, racist law you put out there, twelve years imprisonment. Any uh -uh. white I, mean, I like what Twitter is doing. Twitter yes, is doing. Like, like I think if it's hmm. part of the law that I can prove that you called me the N word, right? Yeah. And it's, and I don't like it. You should be sentenced to fifteen years. Mm. Maybe then. The, I, I the think this fight is people. beyond anybody being sensitive about the N word, please. I yeah. think this is about system, system yeah. Yeah. racism and how the whole segregation is when I can somebody else can walk into a healthcare system and get better treatment, and then the black person walks in and they yeah. don't get the same, or when they accost you on the road as a policeman and then or they you, feel like you're a threat already the, because of the skin color. Yeah. So it's even beyond during the protest, how you can blacks still can see, get during the protest, you can still see the prejudice. Racism. Because if you see a white person and a black person protesting the policeman would arrest the black person yeah. and let so the white that's, person that's go so you, even issue. within the protest even within the riots you can still see that even the media narrative has changed when white people are protesting or rioting they'll say young people were very energetic today protesting something something mm. but if it is black people they'll say thugs are fighting so the narrative there's a huge problem, even within the media. We're talking about within the media, we're talking about within movies. It feels like racism is being tolerated. So we, are, we cannot stand for it. Racism mm -hmm. has to be eradicated. If it cannot be totally eradicated, at least systemically, it should not exist. I like mm -hmm. that you brought up the thug um, issue or the for the word the talk, difference. and I think we should just move on to Nicki Minaj's um, story, who is not happy that one person is being charged um, for the death of George, George Floyd. Yeah. He's, she's saying I'm that, about that yeah, well. she's saying that all four thugs <laughs> should be um, charged um, for the yeah, death. Yeah, because, it, she, because she, they saw it. she's painting a scenario saying that if those were four black, black um, men. Yeah, four black dogs that did something that hideous and it's just one person that at least committed the crime finally yeah, that everybody absolutely. in that vicinity would pay yeah, the price. So, yeah. yeah. So, and I totally agree with what Nicki Minaj is saying. I don't think the other um, police officers should be, um, go, should go scot-free because they witnessed this. Mm -hmm. They saw it. They were all trained. They could have stopped him. Yeah, yeah. they were all they trained. Have. And they knew that it was using... If the police force of uh, Minneapolis, right, is saying that um, they that wasn't part of their training, right? So you saw that another officer was using a method that wasn't part of your restraining method. And you did absolutely nothing. And you nothing. did absolutely nothing. They, they, were guarding, they were guarding him. No, absolutely nothing. They were guarding him. Yeah. Some of, I, I, I even saw a picture that then some of the, of the police mother. officers were even holding him down. So, of course, there are accomplices in this murder. And again, what even pained me was even the, the charge that they gave the, the Derek, man, Chauvin. Derek Chauvin. The fact is, they called it a third degree murder. They said he accidentally killed him. No, manslaughter the, and um, third degree murder. And, yeah, um, they said it was an accident. Well, whichever but way it is, it I feel was, it's going to be life. How do you kneel down on somebody's neck for nine minutes and you say that that was an accident? A lot of people are questioning the, 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 the um, what do they call it in law? The charge that was given to him a lot of people are um, putting it into question because the truth is black police officers would not get we that both, we both know that it's it, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't an accident but it can be argued legally legally that you knelt on somebody's neck for nine years like and criminal you know the funny lawyers, thing is okay. george floyd's um family did another autopsy and they re discovered that he died from as asphyxiation yeah mm -hmm. so that means that it was the knee that breathe. made him yeah. die so I don't Obviously, understand the reason we, we why it is not that. murder. How do you kneel down on somebody's neck for nine minutes and you say that you do not think he was going to die? It's not. It doesn't make any sense. No, she don't baby. Come on. It was a human being, and he kept on saying, Chauvin, "I cannot breathe." I just, Come on. I just wish the death penalty was still in existence because it needs to die too. But 
it's time for a quick break for us to calm down. But when we return, we'll definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling all right. Minimal mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. A corona has revealed that an overdose of cocaine killed Twilight actor Boyce Gregory and um, his Nigerian girlfriend Natalia Dipoju. The 30 year old actor was found dead at his Las Vegas home alongside his girlfriend on the 13th of May. Mm, I can't say that I'm surprised. Coronavirus? Go on. Where did you hear coronavirus? Just joking. You said the corona. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so, I'm not actually yeah, surprised. We're not surprised today, about this. Yeah. Yeah. Even since the first time I read the story, I was like, oh, That was the same thing I said in the first day. Yeah. Meta will do it. Um, may your souls rest in peace. And Stay away this, from drugs, guys. Old oh. celebrities and all the young ones out there or anyone that feels that drug is the way drug is and the way for you. Why are you laughing and smiling? The reason why I'm laughing and smiling is because the truth is I wish... That this that would make people, them stay away Exactly. Right? I wish this would make people mm. stay away from drugs. But the truth is there's a huge problem. There's a huge drug problem. People are using drugs. You, we've preached over and over again, abstain from drugs, blah, 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 but people are not abstaining from drugs. So there has to be another way that okay. we Which can is... educate people. If you want to use drugs, be educated at least. Because they overdose again. He's saying this thing. You I don't, don't understand I don't think... what addiction means. You don't know there are some drugs that are really addictive. That All it takes is a taste and you want more and you want more and you want more. And that's what leads to overdose. Yes, but have you ever dealt with an addiction patient? Do you think that telling them don't do drugs, does it stop them from doing drugs? Have you been to a rehabilitation center? Do you know the things that they do to them in order for they them to them lose drugs. the mindset? They give them drugs every once in a while. I don't think they take them off the drugs completely because they would have you they would have like withdrawal symptoms. They slowly take them off the drugs. This thing has to this thing has to be like a total re that's why I said education of the mind. You totally have to understand that if you are going to do drugs, this is what is going to happen. We've been talking about doing well, drugs. I don't think drugs, people that are doing drugs do not know the consequences of doing drugs. drugs but they still do it anyways so i'm still trying to get the other way around as i yeah. said them like i not said to do i saw one ad that mm. <laughs> you're on this case like no to be honest because I, I i felt like that made more sense okay they said don't do drugs mm -hmm. but if you would do drugs this is the amount that can kill you this is the level that you take this is the amount that you would smoke that will kill you this is the amount that you would sniff so using your you. own words like you said like yes. when they, they were get trying to that to control point control it mm, you do you think when they've got taken that dose they will have the ability and sense to control, to control themselves to know that mm, i have gotten to the dose so i need to stop yeah it might be counterproductive it's drugs yeah it might be counterproductive but even staying away from drugs is not working so what is the way forward mm. The way forward is stay away from drugs. And people are not staying away from drugs. Okay. Okay. So what are you going to do? That's not sounding like we are drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Just so stay what away is from the drugs. solution? The solution is stay away from drugs. And then the people Every that are not staying away from drugs. drugs. If you hope to and live a long life, a long fulfilled life, and um, I mean, you're putting in so much hard work now, I want to believe, even if it's just in your studies, you're doing something to better yourself. So if you want to at least reap the fruits of that... Thing you are hard doing work. hard work no matter how i know some somebody might be somewhere making you feel like it's not hard work and that's one of the reasons you are depressed and doing what you're doing but trust me if you believe it's hard work it is hard work so mm. if you want to live long enough to enjoy that hard work and for us to be able to celebrate you and say life well spent then maybe you should stay away from drugs. yeah and also check into a rehab center Please. stay away from drugs. get help if you're already addicted 
Yeah, okay. So I think that's how we wrap up. If Nimi Dekombi. You can give them our number so they can speak to Nimi Dekombi so she can. All right, if you want to reach Nimi Dekombi, please <laughs> send a WhatsApp message 090 um, 605719. Just send the message to say, I want to speak to Nimi. And of course, we'll connect you. She's so cute. To Nimi. So she can be you your know. new drug. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh wow! Okay, that, sound like that, that didn't sound okay, alright. Okay, But it that's a wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and to join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter Tosa Plus TV Africa. And of course, I gave you the number earlier on zero nine zero six thousand five seven one nine to send your comments or opinions or however you feel on this um, topic. Um, my thank you as always to go to my amazing co-anchors Nimi Dekombi and Ife Oluwashunke. Yeah, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. Please do stay safe. My name remains Elsie Godwin.